find her in the home of Jimmy and Angela. They now have a little house. They've moved out of their apartment and um, they're unpacking, you know, to, they've been married and, um, and so Jillian's still there causing trouble, stirring up the works, you know, not letting them just live the happily ever after. You do and you don't. There's, it's such an interesting way to work because you have to really relinquish control of knowing everything because you don't. And, and each week or every two weeks you're handed a new you know, set of pages for the next episode and that's how you get to know your character because you, it's, they tell you, they've written some history, they've written you talking about what happened in the past and it's something that you didn't know before. You know, um, so you really do have to kind of let go of knowing everything, which I think is is lovely for actors because you have to bring, let, allow for the ambiguity and you have to really trust the creators, which in this situation you'd be crazy not to. And, um, uh, but then you, in another way, you, 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 the character's in you because of the time that it, you kind of ruminate, you know? It's, it started over a year ago and so well, the first season was, um, you know, two years ago when we started shooting, and you have these ideas at the start. Oh, I, she's a showgirl, and she has a son who's not that much younger than she is, and you know, this has been her life, and you kind of come up with these ideas, but it changes and shifts, and but, and you do, you find yourself sort of becoming this character without the work that you would do necessarily on a. On a, on a film where it's gonna start here and finish here and this is where it goes. You know, I get this pages, especially for the first episode even, and it's, hmm, how am I gonna say that, you know? And do you think, and you have to decide, is that real? Is she just saying that? And, you know, but she is a pretty shocking character that boundaries are not there, you know? So that's what I love is she's capable of anything. And uh, it's kind of can be scary, you know, going forth, but that's the fun of, of a character like Jillian. Is I, I originally thought when I auditioned, she was a showgirl and, and maybe she was kind of the, you know, hopefully not, but almost like Hooker with a heart of gold, you know, the one who's going to take care of her son and loves her son and Mama Bear and, you know, and, and it's just completely flown in another direction. And um, I'm so happy because she's really kind of a player, you know, she's really kind of in there and, and uh, calculating and thinking all the time. I mean, it's this gangster world that I don't, I'll never totally understand, but it does seem like people love a gangster. They love um, the good guys and the bad guys and what people are capable of and going, I mean, really the sky's the limit with these guys. I mean, there's so many uh, creative ways that one can get it and die and be, you know, I mean, it, and, and there's, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it seems like it's about outsmarting each other. Um, but it, it, also at that time, you know, I think the, this sort of, again, like I go back to, it seems like everybody's just trying to figure out how to survive and then of course greed plays into it and you get a taste of something and you want more and you want more and you can see, I think in the world of Atlantic City, it's a great place to just sort of explore that, you know, because it's such a small, tiny world. It's something that was created from nothing on the, on all of these, it, literally on a marsh. So it's like everything is just kind of sludgy and just feels like the ground is not firm, you know. I think that's, that's how people feel in life. You know, there's a lot of characters that you can relate to. I didn't realize that it, it sort of came to me after maybe the first couple shows because I wasn't sure if she had an accent, you know, a New Jersey accent, like a more sort of tough accent that, but then as, as and it's so, this is the hardest thing about, you can look back and go, oh, I didn't really know who she was yet. Like I was still, you still see the work in progress in a way with these characters, unless it's someone like, 
you're, you're lucky Luciano and you can go and really kind of investigate and try to be as on the nose as you can. Um, the facts really aren't there, so you're kind of um, figuring out as you go. But anyway, so yes, Jillian has, has I just think it's, you know, she's a showgirl, she's definitely a street smart person who, uh, but she thinks of herself as a, as a sort of royalty, you know, so she has to have, and it's in the writing too, the way they wrote this, these scenes, she just has a standard, a way of uh, being. So the voice kind of came through that. And I didn't realize that it actually was a voice until I realized at table reads that a voice would come on, you know. I think uh, more family, more um, just deeper into who these people are. I think there were so many characters introduced in the first season and um, so much happening in the gangster world. And, you know, I think it, it, I feel like in season two, you still have that element, but you also have, you get more of the history of, with, with our main characters, like with Jimmy and Nucky, you get the family, you know, behind what makes them who they are. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Do what, dear? Undercut me. Well, sweetie, I would never. You're his wife. Yes, and I'm Tommy's mother. Well, I was only trying to help, dear, as your husband's mother. Boys will be boys, after all. <laughs>